I'll show you the practical differences between using Affinity Photo's black and white adjustment, which gives you fine control over color groups and how they contribute to the monochrome result, and the channel mixer adjustment, which lets you convert to a grayscale intensity model. First, let's look at the black and white adjustment. I'll add it to this document by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White. On the dialog, there are sliders for red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta color groups. These control the contribution of these colors towards the monochrome result. Just by increasing and decreasing the contribution of these colors, it's possible to create a powerful looking black and white image where certain colors are brightened and others are darkened. Now let's look at the channel mixer adjustment. I'll reset the black and white adjustment so we can see the initial result again, and then hide it. Then I'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Channel Mixer. On the dialog, I'll change the color model from RGB to gray. Immediately we can see this looks different to the initial black and white adjustment result. Objectively, we might say it looks more balanced. This is because the black and white conversion is using what is called a weighted intensity calculation. The red, green, and blue channel data is not treated equally when converting to grayscale. For a closer approximation to the way we perceive color, green is given the highest weighting, then red, and finally blue. Therefore, if you are after a balanced black and white conversion that you then wish to tweak further with additional adjustments, it may be beneficial to use this channel mixer approach over the black and white adjustment. I can, for example, add a straightforward brightness contrast adjustment and simply introduce more contrast. Then perhaps raise the brightness slightly to build on this neutral result. If I hide the channel mixer adjustment and show the black and white adjustment, this result looks slightly washed out and lacking in contrast. The red and yellow tones are arguably too bright, and the black level of the areas down here looks lifted. Switching back to the channel mixer result, this is more balanced without requiring any further tweaking. Finally, there is another black and white method you can experiment with that uses the hue saturation lightness color model. You can access this method via both the HSL shift adjustment and the recolor adjustment. I'll add an HSL shift adjustment and reduce the saturation shift slider all the way to minus 100%. This produces a similar result to the channel mixer adjustment with some subtle differences. Additionally, you can switch over to the separate color groups and use the luminosity shift slider to control their brightness contribution for the black and white result. So there we go, that was a comparison between different methods of converting to black and white. Do experiment and find the technique that works best for your own imagery. Thank you for watching.